What's up, sports fans? It's your man D here again, back with Speak Your Mind Sports Talk. Okay, so I want to start this week off with the Kawhi hype. The Kawhi hype. We do have a mastermind for this topic. As a matter of fact, we have a mastermind for all of our topics this week. Thank you, guys. I appreciate the love and support. I appreciate all the comments. I appreciate all the new subscribers. You guys keep digging in. You will win mastermind. Keep dropping those comments. Just bring those facts. Remember, bring relevant facts, okay? And for the Kawhi hype, JB. Once again, JB is on fire. The mastermind for the love of sports. Let's talk about it. All right. So, JB is one mastermind again. And JB says that Kawhi Leonard is not hype. Kawhi Leonard is the man. And, you know, uh, you have the Max Kellermans of the world and all of these guys comparing him to Jordan or, you know, say Doc Rivers saying that he's the closest thing to Jordan, like Kobe never played basketball. I mean, you know, some of these guys may be taking it too far. Or let me rephrase that. These guys are out of their minds. <laughs> they are taking it too far because Kawhi Leonard is nowhere close to the great MJ. He's nowhere close to Kobe Bryant. Listen, Kobe Bryant was damn near Michael Jordan reincarnated, it seemed like. So, you know, and then what about Kareem Abdul-Jabbar? Talk about two-way player. I mean, come on. Kawhi has a lot more to do. But for our point, for our mastermind, for the question was, in today's game, is Kawhi Leonard overhyped? In today's game, is Kawhi, is he the man or is he hype? Well, JB says no, it's not hype. And we're about to find out why. So let's see what JB has to say. Let's read his comment as usual, guys. If you win Mastermind, I will read what your comment is online so that everybody can hear why we take the stance that we take. Because we're taking the stance from what you guys say. So drop a comment, email, audio recording, whatever. We play audio recordings right here too. So, you know, remember 150 words or less, 30 seconds or less. And what I'm about to read will be in the discussions tab. So <clears throat> you guys can also go back and read this. So let's read and see what JB has to say. Congratulations again, JB. All right, let's look at some of Kawhi's achievements. Two-time Defensive Player of the Year. Two-time All-NBA First Team. One-time All-NBA Second Team. All-Rookie First Team 2012. He won a championship with the Spurs in which he was named Finals MVP. Great point. Five All-Defensive Team selections. Great point. Three times All-Star. Regular season stats have dramatically improved. This year averages up close to nine points per game. Awesome. Great point, uh, JB. Playoff 2019, he has been instrumental in leading the Raptors to the finals. And this is how he did it. JB listed some things. Seven 35-point games, a 45-point game, a 17-rebound game, 11 games in the playoff with at least 30 points a game, only surpassed by Jordan, 13, and Elijah Wan, 12. Excellent point. Kawhi has only seven seasons under his belt, so he will continue to get better. That means he's young. That's another excellent point. Okay. His relentless defense and will to win is what separates him from the pack. So is he hype? No. He is by far the best two-way player in the game. He's not hype. Awesome job, JB. Listen, guys, pay attention. And you guys will see this in the discussion tab, but I need you guys to know this is an example of what this is all about. JB's not winning for anything. You know, it's the reason he's winning. We love JB and the rest of you, but we're not favoring JB. <laughs> but JB scored eight points. Now, guys, I want to point something out. JB did a great job here. JB scored eight points on this Kawhi topic. But if you guys listen to, and when you go back and read JB's comment in the discuss, discussions tab, JB listed a lot of facts. JB scored eight points on this. He listed way more than eight facts. What makes this competition so 
you know, uh, competitive is that we have decided, our team here at Speak Your Mind Sports Talk has decided on 30 relevant facts to this topic. And that's going to be the case in every topic. So there's going to be 30 relevant facts to say why he is hype. And then there's going to be 30 relevant facts to say why he's not hype. So even though JB may have given us 15, 20 facts, he scored eight points because all of them weren't relevant, relevant to the topic. Okay, yeah, Kawhi Leonard was a three-time All-Star, but is that relevant? So we didn't give him a point. However, great job, JB. JB won again, eight points, mastermind. So from now and here on out, Speak Your Mind Sports Talk said, no, Kawhi Leonard is not overhyped. Kawhi Leonard is the man. Kawhi Leonard is the truth. Kawhi Leonard is here to stay, and he is the man of the NBA. Thank you to JB. Speak your mind, sports talk, master mind. Once again, JB, congratulations. Hey, we appreciate you. Guys, come take that crown from JB. We can't let him win everything. Come get at him. We're going to have some exciting topics next week. Hope I see you guys there. Drop some comments. You know, leave us an email, audio recording. Just remember, all comments have to be 150 words or less. If you do, email us an audio recording and you win. It will be played, okay? So I will play what you had to say on the next show when we give the results. You know, Kawhi Leonard is not hype. And we're going to talk about Manny Pacquiao today and Keith Thurman. We're going to get to that, you know? But if anybody think that JB is not correct and that Kawhi Leonard is overhyped, for the love of sports, let's talk about it. Peace.